Thank you for visiting TwinCities.com, and it's that time of the week again, folks. It's another edition of Tark Talk with Hall of Fame quarterback Mr. Fran Tarkenton, a Vikings legend, uh, not even in his own mind, in everybody's mind in the <laughs> Twin Cities area. And uh, everybody is talking a lot about football, obviously, in the Twin Cities, but also across the nation because it's being swept by Tebow mania. Give me your take on it. <laughs> I'm all in. I bought all into Tim Tebow. I mean, I just love what he's doing. What is a quarterback supposed to do? Supposed to win? Supposed to make plays, bring you back in the fourth quarter, uh, complete passes, be a leader for your team, be unselfish, uh, support all the defensive and offensive special teams player, bring them all together, make his teammates better. I think Tebow's doing that. He's doing it all. Oh, I know. They, all the pundits, you know, he doesn't, he has a bad throwing motion. He's not going to be able to throw well enough. The worst thing that coaches can do in the NFL is try to mess with a quarterback's throwing motion. I think they did that at Denver. And it, they did it all last year and part of this year. And now they've just let him alone. He's getting better every week. He's making throws with his arm and making plays with his arm that are game-changing plays. And we all saw it a couple of weeks ago when he came uh, to the Metrodome to play, uh, to play our Vikings. Uh, seven straight games he's won. Brought him back in five of those games late in the game. And this past week, it was unbelievable what he did. He completed seven straight passes and, and, and getting the only touchdown for them and then leads them to a, to a, a, a tying a field goal and then to a winning field goal. He is playing his style of football. You know, I think I remember a quarterback back in the 60s and 70s that played a different style of football too. <laughs> And now we got Tim, Depot, Tim Tebow doing the same thing. I'm all in. Enjoy him. His team's going to be in the playoffs. His team's going to win the division. All right. Now, Tim Tebow, a, yep. a mobile quarterback, yep. running quarterback. We saw in the Twin Cities, in Minnesota, yep. another mobile, freakish uh, athlete well, in Joe Webb. Real freakish. I love Joe Webb. Always have loved Joe Webb. He played, I'm in Atlanta now, and he played down here in Alabama. And uh, athletically, he is better than Tebow. And, and, and better than uh, Cam Newton uh, in Carolina. He's off the charts and such a wonderful young man. He brings something to the table. I'm just glad we have him. You know, we know the quarterbacks get hurt. You know, Christian Ponder had an injury this last week and, 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 and sometimes we don't play every game and we need uh, other people to help us. And, and, and Joe Webb can step in there and give another dimension to quarterback. What he did against the Lions was off the chart. We're down 31-14, I'm watching the game. Uh, over direct TV here, and, and he brings us within a face mask penalty that should have been called. Where was the referee? I mean, they, that's their job is to look at the quarterback and protect the quarterback. Ripped his head off with the, with the face mask, and then we go first and goal from the half yard line. We have four downs again. I think we'd have gotten it in and won the game. Tremendous job, tremendous job by Joe Webb. Well, is it is it something where maybe you've talked about Christian Ponder kind of being the quarterback of the yep. future? Do you think they should maybe work Joe Webb in with with maybe some packages to for defensive coordinators to account well, for him? You got to have one quarterback, okay? And that's got to be very clear. And Christian Ponder, I think, is that one quarterback and very clear. But I I think you know within the spectrum that that I think Joe Webb is going to evolve into being a better, better quarterback year in, year out. He doesn't have as much experience playing as Christian Ponder in, 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 in big-time college football. But it's conceivable that the Vikings will want to have some packages with Joe Webb, short yardage packages, goal line packages, to utilize his tremendous athletic ability. And, and that's not out of the question. That makes the team better. But you've got to have one quarterback you depend on, but you want a great backup that if you have the situation you had in Detroit, he can come in, give you a change of pace, and he can play, and he can help you win. Well, and we've seen how damaging not having a backup could be. We're seeing it in Indianapolis. Look at Indianapolis, the importance of your quarterback. Peyton Manning goes down. They have a guy that's been there for two or three years. He can't play. Mm -hmm. and, and, and you don't want to be caught that empty. In Chicago, good look, great football team this year. I really like the Chicago bench. Cutler goes down. They can't, they've lost, what, two or three games without him because they don't have a backup who they can depend on. Last year, Detroit didn't have a backup to, 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 to Matthew Stafford. Joe Webb is evolving into that backup for Christian Ponder, and I think that's great. Give me your thoughts. We got Minnesota going up against the Saints this week. Uh, I think Minnesota will play them tough, and we played them, what, a couple years ago for the championship. They still got some of their, they've improved their roster. Breeze is still there. That helps them. Our roster is evolving. It'll get back to where it was 
and will be in that position again that, that New Orleans is now. All right. Well, very good. Well, thanks for joining us for another edition of Tark Talk. Make sure to join us back next week for another edition with Hall of Fame quarterback, Mr. Fran Tarkenton.